Hey, how you doing? We're going to teach you how to keep a red block cool. Now this can be applicable to any car. Perfect. 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 Check it out. Looks cooler, right? Just joking. That's not what this video is about. We're going to show you how to keep it cool, though. As in, keep the coolant temperature down. So don't go nowhere. Let's do this thing. Yeah, so you want to know how to make your Volvo run cooler? Well, you got to run a fan shroud. It's got to look a little bit better than this, but this will work. This is a MK3 Toyota Super Radiator Turbo Factory. It's got the factory fan on it, even though the factory electric fan. I'm running a clutch fan right off the pulley. Nothing special. But if we take a closer look, well, maybe it is a little bit different. What's it missing here, fellas? Come on, bros. What's it missing? You know what it's missing. It's missing that stupid tube that goes from here all the way back through here and goes to the heater core. And then the other side of the heater core comes over here and plugs into that line that I have blocked off there. Now what works for me, and has worked for several years now, of daily driving, is JB Weld. So JB Weld is sandwiched on the inside of that hole, and then there's a layer of silicone that fills the hole, and then the outside is also JB Weld. So it's a sandwich of sorts. It's a silicone sandwich. I think that was there primarily for colder climates because that is just entirely too much of a heat source. It's too close to the exhaust manifold for boosted applications. And this is a factory B230F block. It's not even a turbo block as you can see it doesn't have the turbo feed. And But it does have the oil cooler that uses coolant to cool the oil filter adapter deal that I don't even have hooked up. In fact I'm missing the bolt for that. I need to put that on. So I use the oil pickup feed of basically off of a primitive T right off the block. And that feeds the oil feed for the turbo. But this right here doesn't superheat my block anymore. And it takes a while for the car to get to normal operating temperature. But I don't have any overheating problems in this car. So we're doing some cleaning up at the moment and getting ready for some big changes. That's just a quick tip I wanted to share with you. There's my factory super electric fan. And my custom radiator mounts. And my intercooler that's sandwiched in there. Eight fifty R Tom and Belt Volkswagen dual overhead cam mid eighties tensioner with some Loctite on the back stock Volvo sixteen valve idler Yoshi Fab crank pulley and the crank pulley down at the bottom that bad boy I had machined I believe a quarter of an inch off the back of it to get the belts to line up with everything else. What are these engine mounts right here? Are those factory Volvo? Yes they are. 
Are they standard automatic Volvo? No, but they are for a standard Volvo 740 or 940 series turbo. And they are specifically braced differently. And I am using a Jaguar XJ knockoff engine mount. And I'm also using the bottom perches that go with these type engine mounts because the tops are different, the bottoms are different, and both sides are different. So you have to get the whole kit. You have to get the bottoms and tops, both sides, in order to run the stronger brackets. And it makes a huge difference. Don't think it does? The whole car shakes. The motor doesn't.